Yo, what is going on everyone in the crypto space? Thank you guys for tuning in the channel today. Really do appreciate it. Uh, so today I got some good information for you guys uh, that we already covered on stream. I'm going to cover that briefly. But then I kind of want to get into something else that I discovered while trying to look for more information regarding this one piece of info. So today, or actually like uh, two hours ago, Herbal tweets out that Bradesco, uh, based in Brazil, $350 billion, um, in value worth of assets uh, and the Mitsubishi Mega Tokyo they're worth like three point something trillion worth of assets are leveraging Ripple's blockchain technology to create a new cross-border payment service between Japan and Brazil so I go ahead uh, I read through the whole PDF it really keeps it kind of bland and um, you know generic when they're talking about just you know blockchain they don't mention any specifics because what I was really looking for was the hey we might leverage like cryptocurrencies or you know I utilize one of Ripple's products called XRapid, uh, but they kept it very bland, very generic, uh, and I couldn't find more information on, you know, uh, if this had a possibility of being under uh, utility of XRP because uh, the Japan to Brazil uh, corridor doesn't have really the most liquidity, kind of a somewhat exotic quarter so that's really the perfect situation for x rapid although x rapid would work for you know the high liquid quarters like us dollar to euro and uh us dollar to pound and euro to pound um the brazilian dollar to i believe that's what i call the brazilian dollar um to the japanese yen uh that is kind of an exotic corridor and is pretty much a, per a perfect use case for X Rapid. That's really what X Rapid is best for. Uh, the most savings from X Rapid will come from these exotic quarters. But again, I don't think I'm spreading FUD or anything. X Rapid does have perfect utility in high liquid quarters as well. Um, but where X Rapid benefits the most, the absolute most, is in these very exotic quarters. So that's where, uh, you know, I was doing some Googling, looking for the, M, uh, the Mitsubishi Mega Tokyo uh, press releases, and I couldn't really find anything. But one thing I did found, uh, it is unrelated to, you know, this announcement. This announcement is really cool, by the way. Don't, don't get me wrong. That is, this is a great announcement. But I did stumble across something else that I found really interesting, especially when they use a certain type of verbiage. So this article came out two days ago. You know, I didn't get, gain much traction, really. Um... But it says BBVA leads blockchain-based syndicated loan of $150 million with BNB Paribas and MUFG. Now, what caught my eye is BBVA, 100% confirmed Ripple partner, MUFG, 100% confirmed Ripple partner, and then BNB Paribas, um, I believe the largest bank uh, in Belgium, uh, they're not a confirmed Ripple partner, but they do have a somewhat of an indirect tie together. Uh, you can see here on the Taz Group website, Ripple is an official partner of the TAS Group, and BNP Paribas is one of their clients. So there might be a little tie there, uh, who knows. But basically, uh, two out of the three banks involved in this uh, loan of $150 million um, are confirmed Ripple partners. Now, let me go ahead and read this to you. And, and the last part is the absolute most interesting. So it says Spain's second largest bank, BBVA, has carried out a blockchain-based syndicated loan of $150 million. Um, uh, UK-based global financial news, Finextra, reported uh, on Wednesday. Now it says the syndicated bank transaction has been conducted on a private blockchain network through a group of three funding banks, including French banking group PMB Paribas, uh, Japan's bank holding Mitsubishi uh, UFJ Financial Group, and BBVA. Now, essentially what they did is they did this uh, they conducted this transaction or the signatures for the transaction through the blockchain. They did it through Ethereum uh, and Hyperledger Fabric. Um, so it's a $150 million loan. But now listen to what they say at the end, uh, which is BBVA's chairman. It says, in mid-September, BBVA's chairman, Francisco Gonzalez Rodriguez, stated that the, the blockchain technology is perfect and provides big, big tools. Rodriguez also stressed, listen to this, that cryptocurrencies that are based on blockchain technology are often used for bad purposes and must be understood. Now, it kind of sounds like he's making the impression of, although cryptocurrencies on blockchain networks are used for bad purposes, you know, through dark web, Bitcoin, Monero, uh, all like the private coins, you know, uh, illegal transactions will be conducted through those blockchains, but it, he makes it sound like Although this does happen, uh, it must be understood uh, as if he might be. Uh, but like, let me know. Let me know in the comments below how you guys interpret this. But when he says "must be understood," I feel like he might be referring to the fact that yes, although 
that cryptocurrency on blockchain might be used for bad purposes, but it also must be understood, maybe referring to the fact that some cryptocurrency on blockchain really does have a true utility. So interesting there. Uh, also, BBVA guys, they were confirmed to be testing X Rapid uh, back in... I want to say this is March, and they actually saved 81% uh, on their XRP trials. Uh, it doesn't say it in this exact article, but I, I remember exactly it was 81%. Uh, BVA claims to have successfully tested XRP for facilitating cross-border transactions between various countries in Europe and Latin America. So BVA, they have tested XRP, and then they sign... Uh, you know, they have the syndicated loan with Mitsubishi, Make a Tokyo, also Ripple Partner, BNB Paribas, some indirect ties with Ripple. And then at the end, they say that... That blockchain is perfect, you get big tools, but, you know, cryptocurrency on blockchain can be used for bad, bad purposes, but it also must be understood. Meaning that, what I'm interpreting from it is that meaning that some blockchain technology that uses cryptocurrencies actually can provide big benefits to these banks, which is why they had some sort of a, a, a blockchain-based loan of $150 million. So, that really, did caught, that really did catch my eye after trying to dig for more information on this one, uh, that how making that statement of, you know, it can be used for bad purposes, but must be understood. Kind of sounds like it's a hint to me that maybe, I'm, I'm speculating here, that maybe that this loan could have had something to do with XRP and that um, it, it must be understood because XRP, you know, when it's used on the ledger, it actually it, it provides great benefits to financial institutions, specifically BBVA here, who did test X Rapid and save an average of 81% on their transactions. So it's it's kind of interesting to see. I don't know exactly if this hundred fifty million dollar loan uh, has anything to do with XRP, but the fact that he, you know, he states that it's you know cryptocurrencies used for bad purposes, but also must be understood at the same time. Uh, I find very interesting, you know, and, and the fact that they have tested X Rapid and have and are confirmed to be test and have are confirmed to have tested XRP, then to come out with this kind of statement and then you know have this. A blockchain based loan with another Ripple partner uh, really kind of strike my attention. So, I mean, I don't know how many conclusions we can really draw from this, but I kind of want to leave this up to you guys and see what you guys really think about this and how do you interpret his statement of, you know, uh, cryptocurrency can be used for bad, but also must be understood at the same time. So again, uh, while searching for more information on this, which there really isn't since it just literally came out today, um, not, not even a couple hours ago. So, you know, really kind of really kind of caught my eye uh, to see two Ripple partners together um, doing some sort of loan on Hyperledger Fabric, and then you know going on to state that uh, that crypto you know, cryptocurrency on blockchain must be understood. So, just something I wanted to update you guys on. Maybe keep tabs on it. Uh, I'm gonna continue to do research the rest of today since we're really not doing too much for a Friday night. Um, so yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Always appreciate your insight. So, interesting stuff there. BBVA, Ripple Partner, uh, and has tested X Rapid, and MUFG, who has also tested X Current, and they have actually been using it. Uh, they had a presentation recently where Steven Dieppe, uh, he came out with a... Um, came out with a video tweet of how they've like they've been using this across like 50 branches ripple technology and it's been working really well for them so interesting stuff there you know uh it's really just speculation at this point but it is cool to see that a ripple partner that has tested x rapid and another large ripple partner are kind of collaborating together with another bank uh that has some indirect tie with ripple you know through taz group uh they're doing a 150 million dollar blockchain based loan so just very interesting, you know, I don't know what conclusion to exactly draw from this, but uh, I'm going to continue doing research for us today and see what I can come across. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, check links in the description if you want to support the channel, and make sure to turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video or stream. Alright guys, thank you for tuning in this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.